Thank you for joining as I help showcase cultural expressions and experiences to celebrate Asian culture. On behalf of the Canadian Foundation of Asian Culture, the Justin Poi Agency, the Toronto Public Library, the Canadian Government, and the Toronto Arts Council, to name a few, we're thrilled to invite talented Asian Canadian artists and performers who are leaders in their field to share their gifts during this celebration. But before we introduce our talented performer and a music-led photography show, it's important to reflect on Asian Heritage Month. And one of the questions I asked while discovering my own identity as an Asian and as a Canadian was how did we earn this opportunity to recognize the many contributions that Canadians of Asian heritage have made and continue to make in Canada? This annual celebration has been made possible by the Honorable Dr. Vivian Poi, the founding patron of Asian Heritage Month. As the former senator and the first Asian Canadian on the Senate of Canada, Dr. Vivian Poi helped pass the motion to designate May as Asian Heritage Month in all of Canada. She's the reason we're able to gather here today to celebrate Canada's unique and most powerful trait, which is diversity. So why is this meaningful to me and to all of you who have been a part of a journey from East Asia, Southern Asia, Western, Central, and Southeast Asia? Well, Asian Heritage Month is meaningful because it offers all Canadians an opportunity to learn about the history of Canadians of Asian heritage and reminds us that diversity and inclusivity in Canada was not free but earned. A decade ago, as a much younger Canadian girl, I spoke for the Asian Heritage Month Gala and at that time, I felt I had little to say about my Asian background. But today, after working for the Canadian Foundation for Asian Culture and creating educational cultural workshops for children in the Toronto Catholic School Board, I've come to learn about the hardships and sacrifices and the enormous contributions and achievements of Asian generations in Canada past and present. Asian Heritage Month is meaningful because it allows us to highlight and appreciate Canadians of Asian descent who have paved the way for generations like mine. The contributions by Asian Canadians in the arts and science, sports, business, government make us proud today and inspired for tomorrow. Asian Heritage Month is meaningful because Dr. Vivian Poi has opened the space for us, for our grandparents, our parents, and our children to be acknowledged, valued, and feel worthy and seen. She's given me this space where I stand before you today to announce that this year we are celebrating the 21st anniversary of the signing of the Asian Heritage Month Declaration by the Senate of Canada. We will be having um, some opening remarks by the Honorable Ahmed Hassan, the Minister of Housing and Diversity and Inclusion, but he will be arriving late and he'll be appearing on Zoom a little later, later in the show. Um, but for now, I'll read a message on behalf of Deputy Mayor Jennifer McKelvey. She writes to us, It is my pleasure to extend greetings and a warm welcome to everyone attending the Canadian Foundation for Asian Culture's Asian Heritage Month opening ceremony. Unity in diversity in fusion of communities through Asian Canadian arts and culture. Today's event also launches the Asian Heritage Month, Month Festival and will feature keynote speakers and performances by distinguished individuals from the Asian community. It is a wonderful opportunity for members of the community to gather and celebrate their rich heritage and culture with friends and colleagues. Events like these are part of the cultural fabric of our city and are essential to a prosperous, vital, and livable Toronto. Toronto is one of the most multicultural cities and home to people from all over the world. The valued contributions of multicultural communities like the Asian community strengthen our society and contribute to our city's motto, diversity, our strength. So on behalf of Toronto City Council, please accept my best wishes for a memorable event and continued success. Yours truly, Jennifer McKelvey, the Deputy Mayor of Toronto.
Next, I would like to give a very warm welcome to the founding patron of Asian Heritage Month, Canadian businesswoman, historian, author, designer, philanthropist, and former Canadian senator, the Honorable Dr. Vivian Poi. Good morning, everyone. I actually didn't expect to be speaking right now. I thought I'll be speaking a bit later, but I want to welcome all of you. It is so delightful to see so many of you celebrating. I think the most important thing is the uh, inclusion. Um, I just want to mention that when I tabled the motion in the Senate, to uh, declare May as Asian Heritage Month. Uh, the Senate, uh, a lot of the senators were surprised what I was talking about when I talk about Asia. Asia is huge. It's the largest continent in the world and we have the biggest population. And also, there are many of us here in Canada. And, um, also, right after the declaration, when many of the societies are formed in, right across Canada, when I travel there, I'm, I've been invited to speak very often, when I travel there, people just thank me for being so inclusive. And I think that is the biggest part of the celebration. And I always insist that we celebrate as Canadians, we celebrate together, not only making new friends among Asians, but among all Canadians. Welcome for being here today. Thank you. Thank you to the Honorable Dr. Poi. I'd like to welcome another legend in the Poi family, an honorary patron and Chinese Canadian Legend Award recipient and the gracious sponsor of today's delicious meal to follow, Mr. Justin Poi. Uh, first of all, I want to, um, I know the minister will be joining us later, but I want to um, acknowledge, uh, you know, it, it, uh, it's always very meaningful when the minister puts us on the calendar um, uh, for Asian Heritage Month or any of our events because we have so much to be thankful for from the Canadian government for being able to do any of the stuff that we do. Um, so first of all, thank you very much for coming and joining us to celebrate the 21st anniversary um, of the signing of the Asian Heritage Month Declaration. Um, today is also very special because Ms. Caroline uh, Lucier has joined us. Um, she is the director of the Canada Council for the Arts and uh, came from Ottawa just for our event today to present the Walter Carson Prize uh, for Excellence in the Performing Arts to Ms. Yvonne Ng. Um, welcome, Caroline. Thank you very much for coming. Um, it's no coincidence that the Walter Carson Prize is presented um, at the Asian Heritage Month opening ceremony. The Asian Heritage Month Declaration recognizes that diversity represents one of Canada's greatest strengths, and we strive to ensure that all Canadians have the opportunity to reach their full potential. The people of this diverse, vibrant, and growing community have contributed to every aspect of, of life in Canada, from the arts to science and sports, business, and government. This recognition of the importance of diversity in Canada uh, uh, during Asian Heritage Month is exemplified in the winner of the Walter Carson Prize for Excellence in the Performing Arts, Yvonne Ng, who came from Singapore, was educated in Canada, and set up her very successful Princess Productions here and won many awards, including the Dora Maver Moore Award, the Ontario Premier's Award for Excellence in the Arts for New Talent, and the Canada Council for the Arts Award, Walter Carson Prize for Excellence in the Performing Arts, which recognizes the highest level of artistic merit and distinguished career uh, achievement by, the, by a Canadian professional in arts, music, theater, and dance. This is why we need Asian Heritage Month to draw attention to and celebrate not only great artists like Yvonne, but also to all of you who have contributed to the diversity in Canada in your own unique ways. I would like to thank the Honorable Dr. Vivian Poy for tabling the motion 21 years ago in the Senate of Canada and uh, for being our original founding patron um, of Asian Heritage Month Canadian Foundation for Asian Culture. 
Ms. Caroline Lucier of the Canada Council for the Arts, and Ms. Jill Zmud for her wonderful arrangement. The funders, the Department of Can Canadian Heritage, Toronto Arts Council, and the Canada Council for the Arts. We've established several annual events in this series. I would like to take the occasion to thank the crucial support of our partners and tireless volunteers. And you'll get a sense of you know, all the events that we have this year in Asian Heritage Month. There's a long list, so please bear with me, but you know, without these funders, we couldn't do any of this. Um, we sincerely thank all of the organizations that have worked with us over the years and all the artists for their wonderful support of Asian Heritage Month. The Toronto Public Library, especially Gregory McCormick, uh, Susanna Amos, uh, Sergio Almir, and Elvia Lanuza. Uh, during COVID, when we couldn't get together, the Toronto Public Library was instrumental in making sure that we could do virtual events and, and reach everybody. Um, for the work among youth to promote inclusion and diversity in partnership, with the school boards, we would like to thank the Toronto District School Board, the Toronto Catholic District School Board. Thank you, um, Superintendent Derek Chen, Vicki McRae, Rachel Allen, and Jodlin Huang of the Toronto Catholic School Board, and IBM Canada for the very successful Arts and Artificial Intelligence Project. For the annual Asian Heritage Month Art and Photo Exhibitions, we'd like to thank the We Art Association, the Chinese Canadian uh, Photographic Society of Toronto, especially Dr. Lian Chao, Irene Hung, Stephen Siu, Tam Tam Chiu, uh, Linda Lai, and Edwin Ho. We'd also like to thank the City of Toronto for hosting the exhibitions at the City Hall Rotunda and Metro Hall Rotunda. If you get a chance, you should go check it out. For the annual Asian Heritage Month concert, we would like to thank the artistic directors, Professor Chaka Nin, Alice Pingy Ho, and Vanya Chan. For the Asian Heritage Month education roundtable, uh, Bo San, our MC, uh, Karenches, who is also our MC today. For the Chinatown events at the Toronto Public Library, Arlene Chan, uh, Professor Leo Chan, Professor Chef uh, Frederick O, oh, Chef Joanna Liu, and the Cambridge Food and Wine Society. For the annual Asian Heritage Month Film Festival, we'd like to thank Tanya Williams of Real World Film Festival. For the engagement of seniors, thank you to Nashad Hirji. Uh, of Social Services Network, um, a vital support to Asian Heritage Month for many years. We'd also like to thank Professor Rachel Sylvie and Nina Boric of the Asian Institute for at the Monk School of Global Affairs and Public Policy at the University of Toronto, and Dr. Maria Lau of the Richard Charles Lee Canada Hong Kong Library at the University of Toronto. And for running today's event, many thanks to the hard work of Alicia Filipovich and Dr. Lian Chow to um, Ian Logan of Innes Town Hall and the wonderful technical support provided by Innes Town Hall, our MC Bo Bosan Karanchis, and technical management on the Zoom platform provided by Aviana Chow, who is an Olympian representing Canada in shooting. Last but not least, thank you very much for everybody for coming today. I know that was a long list, but thank you for putting through with it because uh, without any of those people, we can't do anything. Thank you. Thank you.